here or Kia, but Macedonian style. It's a homemade one. One, two. This one tastes good. Much more good than <laughs> the one that I had in Bulgaria. Wow. So. <sighs> Samuel's Fortress. So we're done some, we left our things ready and we're off for an adventure. So these two. <laughs> Alright. Hospitality is just extraordinary. It's just our first few hours, but the amount of hospitality we received. Wow. Amazing. We've seen here is the old Roman Amphitheater. So this one is has been established in 200 BC. So that's been a long time already, and it's in Hellenistic style um, amphitheater. So it has been established during the Roman period, and um, it has been used for gladiatorial fights. But later it was used for arts, for theaters, for open air um, activities. Because before they used to excavate, they have excavated a what you call it one an artifact where in there's a description or inscription of the Greek god Dionysius, which is the god of arts. So this one is one of um, the major icons here in Oakley when you go here and it's just fronting to where we ate our uh, lunch, actually late lunch here in Oakley. So it's just fronting the Lake Oakley. So very, very nice. There's not much tourists when we go, when we went here and it's as if we own the place. <laughs> um, Atira, what was her first impression of Okri? Because for me, it was just incredible. When we reached this Roman amphitheater here, I was like, wow, we saw Lake Okri in its full glory. So we're just gonna have um, a quick lunch down here in a traditional um, restaurant here um, in Lake Okri. And then off we go for adventure. So we still got more time, the there's still light, although it's just quite late already, but you know, we're having a good time. So we're just gonna ask her what was her first impression of Okri. So basically, you have to come here and experience it for, your, for yourself because it's really beautiful and it will surely take your breath away. <laughs> How was it, buddy? The thing is, um, it takes me back in time. Ah. Yeah, maybe 20 years. That one I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, I feel so calm and relaxed. Yeah, good. Alright guys, so we've got here our food ready! We've got traditional Selsko meso, which is really traditional. We've got the Okrid trout. So Okrid trout is very endemic only here in Okrid. So this type of fish you can only find in Lake Okrid. So we'll have a try here. And Shopska salad, which is very Balkan. And yeah, this is our order and let's see how it is. We're very excited. I'm very excited to taste the food here. And let's share it. Because have you guys heard of this thing called home swap day? It's like where yeah, you put your house and then you swap this somewhere. I don't know how doing that. So good. How was the food? How was the food? It's amazing. Good. So we've got here rakia, but Macedonian style. It's a homemade one. One, two. This one tastes good. Much more good than <laughs> the one that I had in Bulgaria. Wow. So. <sighs> We're down here in Samuel's Fortress. So Samuel's Fortress was 
established as a fortification, a really fantastic fortification during the medieval times. So it was established during um, Char Samuel of Bulgaria, during the Bulgarian Empire. So he established the Bulgarian Empire in here for the first time, in Okrid. So this is one of the most important landmarks here in Okrid. And it's just fronting Lake Okrid and the old city of Okrid. So you see, wow, amazing. So guys, so we're done with the Samuel's Fortress, so we've got a glimpse of how the fortress was, but um, because we're here at like around 7 o'clock, so we weren't able to like go inside Samuel's Fortress to see the whole of um, Okrid, but now we're going to Plauschnik. So Plauschnik is an archaeological site wherein you will see remnants of um, a very ancient um, remains of, um, of a church and archaeological site during the Byzantine Empire. We're now down to the probably one of the most breathtaking areas here in Lake Okrit. It's the uh, it's um we're go we're heading now towards Saint John, the theologian of Caneo. So we're now in Caneo area. We're in you can see the Caneo beach here, and I'll present to you the most magnificent, breathtaking view of Lake Okrit. So let's go inside guys, we're gonna discover St. John, the theologian of Caneo, one of the most breathtaking sites here in Lake Okrit. So let's go. <laughs> Welcome to Lake Ocrid! <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere, yeah. <laughs> Good. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yes, sure. Yes. Yes. Or would you like plates that you share? It's fine like this. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pala. So here we go. Can you imagine this one? Trout with melon. One of the most common names. One of the most common names. Very common. Garcia is the most common surname in Spain. Martinez is the third common. 